What's going on y'all? I've been wanting to open this pretty bad recently honestly and I finally am gonna open it up today. So this is kind of like a new thing that Korean Pokemon cards have been doing. So this is basically a booster box, half a booster box of single strike and half a booster box of matchless fighters. And then it always comes with this little promo card which is really cool and then you get the box of course. And I'm kind of blanking on exactly what this is called but I'm pretty sure it's called the, um, I'm pretty sure it's called the Single Strike Master Card Box, but I've seen them do this with other sets. I saw it with Rapid Strike, but um, I already have the Empoleon, so I figured I'd try to pull the Tyranitar card. So basically you get 15 packs of Single Strike, and then this time you're gonna get 15 packs of Matchless Fighters. So let's get this opened up. I think this is a really cool idea, especially, you know, it just allows you to be able to open up more sets and get a more variety of cards, especially if you hit in here, and then you can still, you know, possibly hit in another set as well, so you're not kind of getting the same kind of cards, especially because the Japanese and Korean sets are always going to be smaller than the American ones. So, let's get this open and check it out. I've been waiting patiently to open this, and actually this got to me really quick. And um, I was expecting this to take like over a month and it actually got to me in like a week. So now that the plastic's off, we can kind of see all the stuff that they've got going on here. So the promo is either going to be a Cinderace V or a Cinderace V Max. And on the, what is it, on the Rapid Strike, it's either the Rillaboom V or the Rillaboom V Max as well. So let's just slide this off. You get this really cool card box. Korean uh, Pokemon cards are officially licensed. so. It's just something that, you know, a lot of people just aren't on yet, or they just, like, don't really want to open them. But me, personally, I'm just here to rip packs, so I'm actually really excited to get these cracked open. Especially with all the craze, and how hard it is to get the American cards. I just feel like... I just feel like Japanese and Korean is just the way to go, especially if you're like me and you're just trying to rip packs. So, here is the promo card, and then you get 15 packs of Single Strike and 15 packs of Matchless Fighters. So today I'm gonna open up these 15 packs of Matchless Fighters and then in part two video, we're gonna open up the 15 packs of the Single Strike. So stay tuned and let's get these cracked open. So let's start off with this. I think I have my scissors right here. I'm really hoping it's the V Max. If it's the V, I feel like I'll give either one to Courtney because Cinderace is our favorite card, but Let's see if I can, okay. All right, here we go. Yes, yes, it's a 50-50 chance, but check it out. We pulled the Cinderace VMAX. He's on top of his fireball, looking like a total boss. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can get even closer there. This card is absolutely gorgeous and the texture is really nice on it too. That's the one thing about Korean cards is they're really starting to step up their quality. So we're already off to a good start, honestly. Super, super stoked on that. Put that off to the side. Maybe right there, we'll put it right here because that's our favorite right now. So let's get these 15 packs of Matchless Fighters. This is technically my first time opening it. My buddy's had a box break before, so I have had him open up a couple packs for me, but I've never been able to open these packs myself, so I'm actually really excited about that, and I hope I can remember as many Pokemon as I can, because especially right now, I'm just so excited. I'm ready to see those Galarian birds, and it'd be amazing, absolutely amazing, if we pulled the alternate art anything. Any alternate art anything, I'm super stoked with. So I'm already blanking on this guy's name, of course, here we go, Cream Puff or something like that, it's something Puff, um, the little Braviary bird, first form, oh no, this is, whatever, you know, we're already, let's just keep it moving, I'm not even going to try to slip up on that, so it's the Kakuna right here, non hollow. this Kakuna card is actually really cool, probably one of the more Kakuna cards I've ever seen, and let's move on to pack two. I feel like sometimes maybe you can open these like Japanese, but for some reason these are a lot harder. So you can rip them, but honestly, with these, I'd rather just cut them honestly. The Japanese packs are a lot easier to open up, so if you get a tentacool, 
and get a Lancern. I've always really liked Lancern. This is a really cool hair cross card. What is this? Surfetched? Yeah, I think this one's the Surfetched. And it looks like we have something behind it. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Galarian Moltres V. I remember telling Luis that I was really excited for them to finally introduce the Galarian birds because I've honestly been waiting for that for a long time. So this is super cool. If I can get the Articuno today as well, that'd be really cool. The Zapdos, obviously. I'm honestly cool with anything. I'm just happy to be opening this up. And the thing about Korean cards is they're just so much more affordable. And the argument was that, you know, the quality just wasn't there. They're just not worth as much. But for me, obviously, like I just said, the quality has stepped up tremendously. It's honestly pretty crazy how good they've been getting. But, you know, other than that, I'm just here to open up packs, y'all. I just want to have a good time. Like, this means a whole lot to me. So, without having to fight the stress of having to wonder... Without having the stress, you know, when you're going to see some cards in the store, you know, there's like a lot of variables that just really stress people out, even having to pay like more than you want to. Oh, there's the Braviary. I think it's Braviary. This is a really cool deli bird. I didn't mention that earlier. I think this is one of the coolest Pokemon that they've ever come up with. There's something about it. Super goofy, super cute, but always a really cool card. And I'm pretty caffeinated right now, I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to try to chill out. I was really excited about this, y'all. So, and that's the one thing, it's like you hit hollows, you're gonna get V cards, you're gonna get V max, you're gonna hit secret rares. The only thing about Korean booster boxes, pretty much up until this point, I don't know if that's something that's gonna change. I think with the sword and shield sets that have been coming out, you've been hitting a lot more secret rares, but with Korean booster boxes, you're not guaranteed a secret rare. That is the only difference, obviously, besides it has the international backing and it has the yellow borders, you know, the Japanese ones have the gray borders and then the Japanese background, but honestly, this this brings me just as much the same kind of joy. Oh, cool. Not hollow. And that's what we're here, right? We're here to enjoy the TTG. We're here to enjoy the hobby. I'm just here to open up packs. I, I'm just here to open up packs and just enjoy myself. And I'm glad that you guys are here with me because this whole new setup, oh, I've been waiting for them to do a Cub Fu card. So let's go, let's see that full art cup Fu, I'm ready for that. Maybe in the later sets this summer, that would be really awesome. I think Cup Fu is so cool, I haven't evolved it yet, I just can't let it go. <laughs> I just, you know, that's just me, I get really attached to things. And it looks like, oh cool, I'll get a Dracozolt V. So like I said, you're gonna hit the Vs, you're gonna hit the V Maxes, you're gonna hit the Secret Rares, you're gonna get the Hollows. The Sun and Moon Korean cards like aren't the nicest. And the heart, the hits are a lot harder, honestly. You just get like usually kind of like a few GX cards per box. If you're lucky, you're gonna get a full art secret rare. But at least with the Sword and Shield era Korean booster boxes, you're gonna hit a lot of Vs, you're gonna hit V Maxes. Obviously, you're gonna be pretty consistent on hollows. And I think you just have a way better chance of pulling a secret rare. Another lantern. We move these magical scissors. I think the Sobble card is really cool. Sobble is really cool. That's the one thing. And then there he is right there with Pass Pessimian. That's the one cool thing about watching the cartoon is you kind of just like get to see these Pokemon how they were intended to be. You know, without kind of interpreting your own like vision about them, you can kind of see how they're supposed to be like with their attributes, with their like, you know, just the way that they act. And I just think it's really cool to see that whenever you see it in the show, whenever they're brought to life, it kind of just makes you attach to them a little bit more. And then a tentacle. Here we go, spirit tune. And we have a brawly non hollow. There's just so much stress in the Pokemon world, y'all. And if I can provide some chill environment, if I can provide any type of positive energy to this TCG, I'm happy. And you know, I don't get in arguments with people, but like I said, it's uh, for a lot of people, it's either English cards or bust. And I get that, you know, as far as like values go. Cool, we'll get a thunderous hollow. As far as just the energy goes, you know, a lot of people are in it straight for the return and that's fine i'm not gonna argue with that you know i have a sealed collection obviously like i collect things knowing that they're gonna gain value in the future but for the most part this is just for fun and i have a blast doing it 
and I don't really like to bring any type of aggressive energy to it because I just don't see the point, you know? Like, no need, to be, no need to be flexing like this Weedle. We're just here to chill and have a good time and just rip packs, honestly. And we have some body armor, non-hollow. So, I plan on buying more of this product. You know, I'm sure they're gonna be doing this with other booster boxes. Like I said, they had a matchless fighters and then they also had a rapid strike one. I was just, I went for the single strike just to see, you know, get lucky, pull that Tyranitar. So, I think we still have four more packs after this. We haven't hit a secret out of these. I don't believe we've even hit a VMAX, obviously besides the promo, so hopefully that's coming soon, that'd be cool. Beedrill Hollow. hopefully it gives us some good luck today. And at the moment too, if you're curious, CGC does not grade modern Korean cards, they only grade vintage. Um, but I'm sure that will change. I know CGC is making a lot of moves at the moment. I'm actually really excited for them to open up the avenue for Yu-Gi-Oh. I have a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I would be totally down to send. Oh, what is this? Oh, cool, a Shaman. I think Shaman's really cool. But, you know, them opening up Yu-Gi-Oh just brings a whole nother avenue and I'm just, I'm just really excited and it doesn't matter. I've heard of other grading companies like HGA, but I, I, don't, wanna, I don't wanna say this unless I know for myself but I don't know if they sonically seal their slabs. So, but you know, I've heard the same thing with CGC too, so I'd rather just do my own homework. But they have cool slabs too. That cool hair cross, that Doug Trio, and we have, what is this, Sculpede? I think that one's Sculpede, I always get them mixed up. All right, last two packs of this Matchless Fighters, guys. And then I will be putting out part two and we'll be opening up the single strike 15 pack. There you go, this little horn. Uh-oh. What is this? Oh, you know what? I think we might have our first VMAX. Oh, nice. Blaziken VMAX. You know what? I've been seeing these cards online. I honestly didn't buy the Japanese set. I've been setting up my new studio, so I've kind of been putting my expenses in other places. So I'm really excited to finally get to open this. And I actually have a booster box as well. I keep forgetting. I have a booster box of Matchless Fighters that I'll be opening up soon. So, you know, I just wanted to do this for fun and I hope you guys enjoy it. Remember to like and subscribe if you like the content I got going on, because this is a lot of fun for me, especially now that I'm moved into this new studio can kind of just like really do what I want with it so it means a lot and I really appreciate you guys the support last pack let's see a secret rare let's see something crazy let's not cut my thumb off because these scissors are very sharp all right here we go here we go surfetched a millipede I think <laughs> Uh, oh my god, we call Lulu this all the time and I'm blinking. Oh my god, that is so embarrassing. But little puppy. <laughs> and the horn. And we have, oh cool. Whoa. Oh man, I was tripping for a second. I thought we were opening up single strike. I was like, oh, they gave us a rapid strike Urshifu in the single strike box. But no, that's really cool. Alright guys. So these four were the main hits in half the booster box so far. We had the Galarian Moltres, which I love. Dracozolt, which there's a lot of really cool backstory. Um, Luis said he didn't come up with, it, up with it originally, but there's a really cool kind of explanation on why these fossils are messed up. Of course, I'm so stoked to pull this. If anything, this made the whole box that I got worth it because this is just so cool. I can't wait to show Courtney after this video. She's gonna freak out. But Cinderace VMAX. And of course, Blaziken VMAX, one of the coolest Pokemon of all time. Everybody remembers when he fought Charizard in the Johto League. It was very intense. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon. And I hope you guys have great pulls. Thank you for supporting my videos. And I'll talk to you later.